what's going on this week ministry and welcome back to finding out what your sole purpose is with God. Now, our main purpose is to get back home and intact, a little scathed up, but fall into the arms of our Lord, right? He's going to clean us all up, put that white robe on us, and we're going to join the party. But a lot of y'all are asking, it's so hard, i got to follow these rules, and I can't follow these rules, and I'm constantly stumbling. Well, yeah, we're all imperfect. But when the Lord gave me this message, it's a, such a simple walk. It's such an easy walk. And that burden will be lifted off of you. And that cross that you got to pick up and bear is light. Now, we, last week we started on, we, start, we left off in Matthew chapter 13 verse 14. It says, and again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field. We be in the Lord's field. The which when a man hath found it. He hideth, and for joy thereof go and selleth all that he hath, and buy, buyeth that field. We were purchased with the blood of Christ, and once we figure that out, once we realize that blood is over top of us, there ain't nothing we will do to protect it. There ain't nothing we were going to do to preserve it, and to keep it to ourselves, and to help others with their journey to try to find it. That treasure's right there. We, got it. we just found that key. We're now unlocking it. And then we start studying about the man and what he wants from us. Now, I had to look at my notes here. Romans, Go to Romans chapter 12. Now just bear with me while I read this. Verse 2. And be not conformed to you this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I'm going to say that again. The renewing of your mind. That you may prove what it is that... What that... Ugh, stumbled there. Prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Let me, let me hint on a few things. Be not conformed. Stop worrying about your daily struggles. I know it's a tough one. We all have bills. We all need to put food on the table. It's Christmas time. We're worried about whether we're going to put those presents under the trees for them little ones. Now, right here's the answer. But... Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let God mold your mind. Get into this book. Now, I read out of the King James Version. Now, I'm going to tell you real quick. I read out of it because it's poetic, and I love it. Some of, some of you don't like them, thee and thou and that. I know I was there. Get you one of the New English Bibles or all there's all kinds of Bibles out there that are easy reading and, and you can actually understand them better. And also find you a ministry, a church home to spiritually grow, to get fed every day. It it I'm telling you people, once you do that, you're gonna start growing. Your mind will start to be transformed. Let's read on down. And to be acceptable and perfect will of God. Only God dictates what's right for you not man don't let man judge your walk with christ it is a personal walk only he dictates it not you and not nobody else that you know so quit worrying about what naysayers are saying behind your back now turn to second timothy's let me switch over here i'm telling you people it the sole purpose is the easiest thing in the world if we would just lay down our own uh, intuitions about it and, and, and move on with him. I can't even find 2 Timothy's. You believe that? All right, here we go. 2 Timothy's, go to chapter 2. Now, this is a long one. We're going to read from chapter 2, verse 19, all the way down to 22. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them, that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart of iniquity. Just like I said, give up those stressful things of your day. And give it to God as soon as you wake up in the morning. But be in a great house. There are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood, of earth, and some of honor, and some to dishonor. Now bear with me. Let's go down to chapter, verse 21. If a man thereof purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and to meet for the master's use, and to prepare it unto every good work. Quit worrying about what you're bringing into your home. Quit worrying 
all just stop worrying about the daily struggle I can't emphasize that enough I know it's hard but when you wake up and your feet hit the floor praise him for that and say take the burdens of the day off of me Lord quit worrying about your wealth or your poverty the riches that you are gaining right now are more worth than anything that we need to treasure here on earth flee also yourself from the lusts but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. When your feet hit that floor and you praise Him, you're calling out to Him. And when you ask Him to take the burdens of the day, hey, that walk you're going to be stepping is going to be a little bit lighter each time you move forward. I know you're thinking I'm crazy. I'm not. Like I said, get into His Word. Get yourself into a ministry or a church that will help provide the knowledge you lack or understand. I know this. I've been there. I'm not perfect. We all stumble. Like on our webpage it says, it's an imperfect ministry for imperfect times serving a perfect God. We all are going to get there, children. We just got to be willing to unlock that treasure box. We got to learn what it's like to be able to give and quit worrying about what it's like to receive. Now, next week, we're going to be going over personal goals and how we also turn those into a soul purpose. So until then, get into the knowledge, get yourself into a church, learn your walk, let someone help guide you that's been there and done that before. And until then, remember, Jesus got you six. Keep your eyes on that prize and remember, the only ways up. I love you and God bless.